Hi Scorpios, this week we have got Mars, your traditional ruling planet, moving into Capricorn. And we also have Mercury retrograde slipping back into Capricorn. So despite the fact that we are officially in Aquarius season right now, it is a lot of Capricorn energy still. So Capricorn energy, and excuse my throat, <laughs> Capricorn energy is very long term. Um, it's all about, okay, looking at the peak of the mountain, you know, if you're thinking of your relationship, you're looking five years into the future, where do we want to be? How do we want to be when we're this old couple sitting on the porch, you know, and um, what do we want to have achieved by then? And have you got the same values in mind? Uh, if you are in a couple, perhaps you might be having some misunderstandings recently because of Mercury retrograde, try and find the shared values you know what is it that you um, really are arguing about underneath the kind of niggles this is going to be like really nice Capricorn energy to try and take you the long haul so let's see your cards for this week Okay, hey, we've got the Six of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands. So um, for some of you, there is some need to communicate about an imbalance in your relationship, perhaps. It might be that, you know, one person's giving more and the other person is taking more. One person doesn't feel appreciated. Um, this can also be to do with finances, even. You're not feeling so, like, stable. The ground beneath you is not so stable. Um, and so you will be getting some new information or some new clarity around this situation soon. And it's really, really important, especially with Mercury Retrograde to communicate about it this week. So let me know if that resonated, otherwise you can read the blog or book readings from the links below. Subscribe and I'll see you next week.